We got here OP4 Repent, or I guess just Repent, or technically according to data within the map entities and stuff like that, Repentagram, which is an awesome name actually, uh, is a pretty top tier opposing force map. I wouldn't say it's quite Paradox Park or another level called R Rubble, but this is one of my uh, favorites to play here, and I'm especially fond of the person who made of it, uh, made it, uh, Richard Gray. Uh, if you've never heard of Richard Gray, he's also known as Level Lord. And he's done a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, most specifically, he was the one of the main designers for a game you may have heard of called Duke Nukem 3D, which is one of my all-time favorites. And I'm frankly stunned I've never played it in any real form on the channel. I guess technically years ago I did, but you know that's that's way I streamed it. That's not that's years ago. He was also famous for Sin, um, being a map designer in Sin alongside uh, Dave Mustaine, who we talked about a bit. And he did some other cool stuff. Again, he was also involved with Star Trek Elite Force 2. I think they both worked at Gearbox around the same time. And I know he also did some stuff on Counter-Strike Condition Zero. And most recently, I think he did some work on the uh, Gearbox um, 20th Anniversary Edition of Duke Nukem 3D, for what it's worth. And I think he also did some stuff on the remaster Quake, but I'm not too sure with those later ones. Well, I actually, I am sure with the later one, like Duke 3D... 20th anniversary edition, but I'm not sure with Quake. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. Let's just check the map out. So I have a sneaking sensation here that because this map's called Repentagram, that this middle... Well, actually, I'm, I'm almost certain the shape of this map probably has something to do with the pentagram. Um, it kind of just feels that way from the slopes and stuff. Like, once we get into the middle of the map here. But, you know, without any sort of, like, map or anything, I can't really prove it. Anyway, let's start out here. We're going to go around the base first. So there's two sides of this uh, map. It's not symmetrical, but it's two similar areas surrounding uh, that building you just saw here. So if you're over here, there's not much of note back here. Although you're probably going to spawn back here at some point. Um, it, they, like I said, they're like they're kind of like rocky canyon areas that lead into these bases here. So on this side, uh, you got some snarks, which could be really helpful if you're like you spawn over here. You get the drop on people real fast. And I just said there was nothing back here, but clearly there's a fucking desert eagle here, and I'm just stupid. So grab that. Um, use the snarks, obviously, because, you know, especially back on these, like, kind of flatter canning areas, they're going to cause people some problems. Get the SMG, good time guaranteed for all. You can get around to the other side of the building by going around these rocky areas. Get the shotgun. Uh, it's good. Here's the other side now, and I said it was, when I said it wasn't really symmetrical, because it... There's this little other exterior, like, exterior building, or pfft, exterior building. There's another little, like, building that's unrelated mostly to the, um, middle building. I say that and it connects right into it, but it's not, like, it just, it's not part of the main building. But there's a lot of goodies in here. Which I feel Level Lord is one of his signature styles. Whenever you'd play, like, the Duke 3D maps in, like, multiplayer, he'd really be generous with, like, you know, the items and stuff like that. Which is both a good and a bad thing, but that's a level design philosophy that we'll get into some other day. Um, so anyway, yeah, get the goodies, get the SMG, get the SMG grenades, get the revolver. If you come up this way, you get the ammo for the, um, the, uh, machine gun, get the unused SMG ammo, and then get a lone satchel, because why not? Yeah, if you fall down here, you get some rockets, and you can get the wrench and a claymore. See what I mean? Just the way it is. There's just stuff. There's a lot of stuff in his maps. Um, and uh, you can also get the Shock Trooper. Ro roach knife thing alongside the... the, the uh, see, I'm getting all confused. So much! Um, there's no water in this map. Th so, the, so the Shock Roach Man thing isn't nearly as good as it usually is in these maps. But, you know, it's still a good weapon, of course. Uh, get some satchels here. And as if you saw from the other side, there's these little openings here where you could definitely cause some pain. Use these strategically. You can also climb up to the... Um, Kind of higher areas of the middle base here quite easily you get the crossbow here You can snipe with that, but I don't really need to particularly tell you that so let's come this way over here uh, another another uh, Desert Eagle and if you come around we kind of back to where we started But I forgot neglecting to mention that you can get the uh, barnacle here, and there are a few places that you can um, Jump up and use it here. So that's pretty cool that's about it for the whole map here. I forgot about this shotgun earlier, I think, just because there's this little side area. I tend to forget about this little part here for some reason. I'm not sure why. It, it's like, usually this map is pretty, like, you know, open, except this part isn't quite so much, if you see what I mean. 
because this uh this particular set of like you know mountain here blocks the other side of the uh, canyon as I'll show you here. I'm gonna just show off this part real quick. I'll talk about this more in depth here. It's really hard to see, but there is actually something up there. And as you can see, yeah, I'll talk about that in a second. There is that other side of the canyon we started on here, which you can you can move around uh, you, if you're on the higher level there. You can move around to the other side more easily. But anyway, that, that's enough for the outside. Let's get into the main area here. Now, this building is actually symmetrical in the sense of there's the middle part and it splits and, like, both sides are 100% the same in terms of, like, you know, layout, but not in items. Also, I can't help but feel there's some... Not this particular set, but we're going to come to some crates here. Grab the shotgun, of course. Grab a med kit if you need it. Um, come this way. And I, I feel the weapons are actually more spread in this part than they are normally, like, in the outside. Uh, obviously there's a health kit. It's a little empty right now though. And yeah, here you go. See what I mean? It's uh, symmetrical to a, a point. Uh, if you come up here, you can get another like shotgun. You can also get some weird shit going on here with the collision. I don't know what's happening. Like, see that? Like, is it just an invisible crate that they put? I I've never really seen this happen in a gold source where you can walk over it, but then you jump or you crouch and it just, it, do it doesn't work anymore. I'm gonna assume that wasn't, you know, intended, but like, you know, I know Level Lord's done acid, so, you know, maybe that's that was intentional. Anyway, so if you come this little center area here, you get those openings I was talking about earlier, but you can also get the gauze. Uh, by the way, I don't think I've seen a single Egon in any of these um, opposing force maps. I don't know what the embargo on the Egon was. It's sad. I, I like the Egon. I know it's just basically a lightning gun from, like, Quake, but not as fun, but still... Oh, well. Anyway, yeah, get some ammo here. Begin to worry of that. You don't want to get yourself absolutely whipped, like, ass whipped there. Um, come up this way. And again, you're starting to see what I mean. I just, there's, like, the way the slopes are. I, I can't help but feel that the way they're shaped, there must be some sort of, like, you know, pentagram shit going on from above. Um, so yeah, you get to the next floor, and there's a lot of different ways to go, so we'll just stick to the outside for now. Um, if you go back to the middle real quick on this floor, and this, like, this opens up again. You get a machine gun. Obviously, you want that, you know, because a machine gun's great in this game. Get a battery. Just get you get stuff. Get the stuff. If you see stuff in this game, you should be picking it up. I don't really think I need to tell you that though. Get some ammo. Get the stuff. Just get the stuff, and then grab that. You charge up here, and that leads into that other little outside building I was talking about. Um, if we come out here for a second, here's that little outside area with the ladders, and again, easy way to get up the different areas here. Uh, you can actually, you don't need the gauze, you can jump from higher up, but if you want to come this way real quick, get on top of that outside building, I think you could spawn here, and you get some explosives, so you know, you can use those to your advantage, but again, I don't really need to tell you that. Here's the other side, I just fell down there. Here's the other side of the building here, so we'll go back in real quick. And obviously, if you were to go this way first, uh, is that one area with the pat, like the, where you could pass over to the other side I was talking about earlier. And then, obviously, I yeah, get the long jump. I think this map only has one long jump this time. We're going to move on to the next floor here. The next branch. You got these little kind of curving areas. It's like there's not a whole lot of outside here. Or inside on this floor here. Uh, obviously, get the um, get the spore launcher. And get some spores here, here. There's spores here, up there, which I'll talk about in a second. And on the other side, I hooked onto earlier. I'll hook back onto over there real quick in a bit. Get the battery. Use these ledges to your advantage, because, you know, in a, in a pinch, they can cover some bullet fire from down there. Let's go back in real quick. I don't... Oh, yeah, you can go back in. For some reason, I had it in my mind, you can jump through like that. Get the displacer, so you really want to be careful about, like, this little up part, part here if you're walking around, because someone could be waiting for you just to blast you with this thing, and that's no good. There's actually two spore launchers. I forgot about that. Use the med kit if needed, or the med station, or the fuck you want to call it. There's some spores over here. I forgot about these entirely. Again, I'm just, I am kind of stupid. You'll have to forgive me. Again, this is a great spot. And there's the, um, the little, like, uh, interior areas I was bringing up earlier. You can jump to them from here, I'm pretty damn sure. Yeah, not even, I don't even need to test that. It's, it's obvious. Now, if you have the barnacle, you can get up to here and miss your five shots three times in a row. Um, because that's important. Get the sniper, and obviously I don't really need to tell you that this is a great sniper spot. And this is a great sniper map. Actually, this spot sucks. I meant, like, you know, more on, like, the little ledges. If you can move around and be careful, then you got it in the bag. Um, obviously, there's that hook we used earlier. And here you go. This is the sniper spot I was thinking of. 
If you can control it with the rocket launcher, you're pretty much going to be unbeatable. But obviously you're going to want to watch from behind you because someone's going to like make your day ruin it. And they can obviously use the ladders to get to you real fast. But yeah, you know, I can't have another Neko Arc existing. I'm the real true Neko Arc here. I missed my shot, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's for Pentagram. This is some really solid stuff. I'm um, not up to the best I've seen from Level Lord. Of all the map makers in this game, I think I fanboy over Level Lord the most. But, you know, that's just because he's played some absolutely amazing maps. Especially for one of my favorite games of all time, so I am a little bit biased there. Um, but yeah, no, this is good stuff. Check it out. Uh, you know, that's the thing. They credit him just as Level Lord, too. But, you know, I always feel wrong. It's always Richard Gray to me. I actually call him Level Lord. Because, to be completely fair, he's done a lot of great maps. You know, that's not the question I'm or the point I'm trying to make. But, you know, he's made, like, what? He worked on Duke, and he worked on Sin, and, a, like, you know, a few other games. You know, the, 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 you, the, the level Lord would imply he's done, like, several billion games. Like, he is the Lord. But, oh well. I mean, he was in the uh, the Navy, I think, so, you know, he deserves more respect regardless. You know, I just, I don't, I feel Level Lord just doesn't do the man justice. You know, did anyone ever uh, feel, like, amazed in, like, the single player for this game that, you know, uh, Shepard was able to carry, like, you know, people bring up in, like, in old school FPSs, like, you know, how many weapons, like, you know, the protagonist is carrying, and how, like, you know, just absurd that would be. But I really think Opposing Force is, like, you know, kind of, like, the gold standard. Because think of, like, all the really heavy weapons, like the Displacer, the Machine Gun, he carries. Then take in the fact he has, like, three living things on him. I mean, like, Gordon Freeman had, like, the, the, the Snark, sure, right? And maybe the Hive Hand? But, like, Shepard's got the, like, the Shock Roacher. He's got the freaking Spore Laundry. He's got the Barnacle. He's somehow able to carry all those around and they're not killing each other. Like, that's freaking insane. Like, you know, the man deserves a medal for that alone. You know, the name Repent kind of reminds me of, like, you know, the, how people would name, like, Doom maps sometimes. You know, I, I like, you know, especially, like, Episode 4 of Doom. Like, you know, they, like, name it after Bible quotes, like, Sever the Wicked. Like, you know, Perfect Hatred. Stuff like that. You know, just, you know, people don't name maps like that anymore. I don't care if it has anything to do with actually how the map plays. Notice me, Senpai! Now you do. Oh, well. You know, Repent sounds cool, but, you know, Repentagram would have sound better. I think my all-time favorite is the final map of the PlayStation version of Doom. Redemption Denied. Because it's like, well, it just sounds cool. That could be like a really awesome black metal band name or something. But, you know, I, I also think at the same time, too. Like, you be after that, you win the game. Y you won. You killed the bad guys. Like, y y what do you mean, Redemption Denied? I don't get it. Ha! You fool! You fool! I would have put the gauze higher up in the map so you'd have more, like, you know, initiative, like, you know, ability to gauze jump with it and stuff like that. Where it's down there, it's like, you're not going to be doing that too much. Assuming even, like, you know, assuming you even make it out alive to get a chance to even do that, you know. It just feels like a, a silly position for that. So, yeah, uh, Repentagram, or Repent, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty damn good. You should play it.